Turn up your sphere. Set it to polygon type. We're going to increase here the frequency. And in the viewport, we're going to just stretch it out like so. Next, to place down a mountain node and play around with the height and the size of the noise. We can go extreme because later we will turn this into a volume. Then place a cloud node. We're going to increase here the quality and put it to 150. Then we're going to go to scatter shapes and we're going to enable fill source. And we're also going to enable secondary shapes. Now we can further around to play here with some of the parameters and get more variation, but I'm going to leave it like this. Next up, let's go to the flatten and let's enable flatten. And here with the bottom scale, we can then flatten here the bottom. Then next up, place down a cloud noise. And the main thing that we're going to do here is, is increase the amplitude. So set it to 0 0.4. So here I'm back again in object level and I'm going to place, place down some lights. So you can just use the default light and I'm going to switch here to high quality mode. So I'm going to place down my light in a certain direction. I will also think about having masks for game engine. So for example, I can have a red mask that gives the top light. So I'm going to fill in the red color here and I'm going to boost this a bit. Then copy paste the light and add a green light from the bottom like here. And then place one more light at the back for a rim light. So now I have three colors that it can be used in a mask. If you have time, you can just render this out. If you don't have time, you can just take a screenshot and open it in Photoshop. So here I have my cloud and I made it into a 1K texture. So it's a nice square format for game engines. In Unreal, we're going to create a simple material. We're going to just set it to additive and unlit material. We're going to load in our texture and we're going to assign for each mask a different color for our cloud. Then we can also boost them if we want them. And we can then just add them to each other to get our final result. So here in my scene then, I can just have a simple plane and drag and drop that material. And then we have some parameters here to then control more. So that was it for this video. Quickly showed you how we can create some clouds for your game. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.